As the show begins, the main character, Sung, is introduced. It was his son's birthday. In exchange for taking his kid out to dinner, Sung's mother pays him money. Additional money is required for Sung. He makes off with his mother's ATM card. Then he steals all of his mother's money. It bets the money on horseback riding and comes out with a win of 4 million wands. Sung took out a loan, from a company. That is why those individuals are attracted to him. Sung is kidnapped and badly beaten. When Sung goes to check his pocket for money, he learns he doesn't have any. It refers to the money he has earned from horseback riding. He then recalls clashing with a female while fleeing from them. His pocket has been ripped open by that female. They have given Sung a one-month sentence, because he does not have any money. He has to return their money within this time. Sung then gathers funds and takes his son out to dinner. After that, Sung rushes to the station. Unfortunately, he missed his train. When a man was sitting waiting for the train, he came to Sung. He was a stranger. Sung is completely unaware of his existence. I'd want to play a game with you, says the mysterious individual to Sung. He tells Sung that if he wins the game, he will give him one million won. Sung agrees to play this game after hearing about a significant sum of money. Sung wins the game despite being heavily beaten. It means he will receive one million won. The mystery person hands Sung a card and tells him to call the number if he wants to make more money. Sung's mother greets him as they return home. Your daughter will be moving to the United States with her stepfather next year. Sung divorced and the married his wife, as reported here. Sung does not want his daughter to be separated from him. He needs a large sum of money to gain custody of his daughter, so he dials the card number. Sung was transported in a car with other individuals. They all pass out and find themselves at a facility with 456 other individuals when they wake up. Because they wore a uniform, they were there as players. This facility's host was a man who served as the frontman. He kept a close eye on them. There was one thing in common, the persons that were brought had taken on a lot of debt. Sung is introduced to player number one. He was a senior citizen. He was brought here because he has a brain tumor, and his life was on the verge of ending. A conflict occurs between two gamers, one of whom is named Si Biao and the other is named Jiang. The girl who stole Sog's money was Si Biao. She tore his pocket open. After seeing her, Sung recognizes her. He approaches her to inquire about his finances. Meanwhile, some guards dressed in pink uniforms arrive. Their faces were hidden behind their masks. The guards inform the players that they must play a total of six games here. The winner of this game will walk away with a large sum of money. On a contract, their signatures were taken. The first term of this agreement is that no player is allowed to skip this game on their own. The second term is that anyone who denies to play will be removed from the game. To them, what does the word, eliminate imply? Later, we'll find out. The third term was that if the majority of players did not want to play, they could leave. Afterward, the people were taken to the game. Sung runs across his old classmate Sang Wu, whom he has known since infancy. Sung is taken aback when he sees him because he has been out on business. For the first game, there was a gigantic doll. The rules of this game were really basic. It used to be that any time doll sang, they had to walk forward. They must cease singing because it will stop singing. There is no need to move. If a player moves, he will be killed. At first, everything seems to be a prank. However, if a boy moves after being shot, he is finished. It was the definition of the word eliminate. They all panic when they see it since it implies they'll be finished soon. They become aware that they are in peril. They roam because they are afraid and panicked. The one who was moving will now be finished due to the game's rule. The game is somehow completed by the survivors. Only 255 players remained after the deceased bodies were removed, out of a total of 456. All of the players were terrified, and now none of them want to play the game. As stated in rule number 3, 
If the majority so desires, the game may be shipped. Before they are shown the prize money, the frontman conducts the voting process. The money will be given to the winner. If they leave the game, however, the money will be given to the family of the deceased player. The total prize money was 45 billion wands. The majority of those who voted did not want to play the game. That's why the game came to a halt at that point. If they like, they can return to the game in the future. They were all taken back to their homes. Sung goes to the police station the next day and tells them everything. They, on the other hand, did not believe in Sung. They believe he's mad. Sung offers them the card, but the number on it is incorrect. Sung returns home, but his mother is nowhere to be seen. Sang Wu, Sung's friend, was covertly visiting his mother. Meanwhile, Sung shows up. Sang Wu tells Sung that he is in debt for six billion dollars. He claims that I have invested the money of my clients in the stock margin. Regrettably, all of the funds were wasted. Sung receives a call from the hospital, informing him that his mother's foot has been wounded. As a result of her failure to address her diabetes, her wound grew larger. The doctor tells Sung that your mother can be treated, but that to do so, her foot must be removed. This operation necessitates a large sum of money. Sung does not have any money. He has spent all of his mother's insurance money. Sung approaches his wife and asks for money. His wife will not give him any money. Sung has come to beg for the money. His wife informs him. Stay away from my family, her husband urges as he gives Sung money. Sung begins to beat him, and then his daughter arrives. Sung's friend then goes to his boss and asks for the money. When his supervisor refuses to pay him money, a fight ensues. His boss's hand is wounded in a machine during the fight. Sung's friend takes advantage of the opportunity and flees with the money. When Sung's friend returns home, he tells his wife to board the first flight out. Because she needs to relocate her mother from the north to the south, Sei Bai Aok meets an agent. The girl who stole Sung's money is Sei Bai Aok. Sei Bai Aok requires funds to move her mother to the United States. Sei Bai Aok has an older brother, whom she has vowed to deliver to her mother. Later, it is revealed that an officer's brother has gone missing. The officer visits his brother at his home. He notices that his brother hasn't visited him in a few days. While searching the house, the officer discovers a card. In the police station, the officer saw the same card as Sung. When the officer approaches Sung and asks about it, Sung refuses to respond. When Sung gets home, he discovers their same card. Sung decides to return to the game. As a result, all of the participants were escorted to a ship. While chasing the automobiles, the police also come. He defeats the guard by tossing him into the sea. The players were taken to an island facility. They have no notion what the next game will be like or how it will be played. They form their own squads. At night, Si Bai Aok and her female companion go to the restroom. Si Bai Aok investigates the facility after eluding the guards. The guards are preparing something in large pots. She notices. Guards are suspicious, and a guard arrives to inspect the restrooms. Si Bai Aok has returned until then. Si Bai Aok reports all she observes to her female buddy. Sang Wu, on the other hand, hears them. He inquires about it with Si Bai Aok, who informs him that they were preparing something in large pots. The players were then all transported to the playground. They were presented with four different shapes from which to choose. When does Sang Wu find out about the game and what they have to do? Sang Wu informs Sog that they must each choose a different shape. Following that, kids were given a little pot in which to make shapes. Their goal is to eliminate the shape in some way. They will be erased if the shape is D-shaped, but they will not be damaged. It denotes that they will be completed. Sang Wu effortlessly removes the form. Sung's condition deteriorates as a result of his anxiety. However, he manages to win the game. They were returned to their rooms. After 187 players were repatriated, only 108 remained. Following that, they were taken to eat. 
Jiang gets into a confrontation with a boy over food. Jiang not only defeats the youngster, but he also finishes him on the spot. Among the players, there is a doctor. With the help of the guards, it sells the organs of the deceased to the Chinese. That is why, whenever dead bodies are seized, they have mysteriously vanished. Everything was going according to plan. This, was going on behind the frontman's back. This is why they put their own man in charge of the control room. He used to erase all of their video footage. The doctor had already been informed about the game by the guards. So that he has a chance to live. The doctor is informed by a guard that the players have received less food today. As a result, they'll battle together. As a result, all of the weak players will be eliminated from the game. The guard uses it to inform the doctor about their next match. After 30 minutes, the lights were going to turn off. Sang Wu is well aware that Sung's team will commit a blunder. He summons the squad and instructs them to remain calm. In Jiang's team, the doctor player adds up. The doctor informs Jiang about the upcoming game. The lights go out after that, and Jiang and his squad beat everyone. Jiang goes to complete Si Bai Auk after finishing a girl. Sung, on the other hand, comes to her rescue. The guards arrived and told them they couldn't do it, just 80 people were remaining. They were later taken for the third game. They were given the task of forming a 10-player team. They do the same and form their group. Although Jiang is aware of the forthcoming game, he has left Si Female Bai Auk's friend out of his team. He creates a team that is entirely made up of men. Sang Wu is also a member of his team because they need a player. As a result, Si Female Bai Auk's friend includes them. Tug of War was the name of the game. It implies that they must defeat the team in front of them. The game begins, this game is easily won by Jiang's side. It was now Sang Turn Wu's teams to run. I've played numerous tugs of wars in my life, says player number one. As a result, he instructs them on how to win the game. They've managed to win the game in some way. After 30 minutes, the lights are shown to be turned off. Sang Wu asks them to be prepared for it. They decide to guard one by one. Jiang's team has a lot of smart guys, therefore, Jiang was scared that he would be cut off by his teammates. The organs of dead bodies were now removed by the doctor and guards. The organs will be delivered by guards 28 and 29. They refer to the deceased body as a zombie because he only has one kidney. Guard number 29 was the officer in charge of delivering the organs. He comes dressed as a guard, and he thinks they're talking about my brother, since he only has one kidney. Their organs are then delivered by numbers 28 and 29. The officer discovers the device in the tunnel while driving. When we leave, the number 28 warns him that the site will be bombed. The officer attempts to elicit additional information from number 28. Number 28 has suspicions about him. He requests that the officer reveal his identity. The officer points his gun at number 29 while revealing his face. The police inquire about the individual who only has one kidney. Who is this zombie you're referring to? She was a girl, according to number 28, and claims to be able to take all of the information while on his way to the leader's quarters. Everyone's data is available. After knowing this, the officer completes the number 28. The doctor, on the other hand, inquires about the upcoming game with the guard. The guards, on the other hand, are also unaware of the following game. The doctor erupts in a rage. He fights while holding a guard, and after finishing the guard, the doctor flees. He is also pursued by a guard, who leads him to a playground. While trapping the doctor, the guard was about to kill him. Later, the leader arrives and kills him, as well as the doctor. Along the way, he discovers the body of number 28. He is aware that someone is there in the facility. The officer enters the room of the commander. While checking, he comes across a chamber containing everyone's records. The officer searches for and locates the winner's records. His brother's name was mentioned, which indicates that he was the winner. For the fourth game, the players were abducted. 
they were given, the option of choosing their companion. The players chose their partners in the same way. She female by Auk's acquaintance looks for her partner as well. None of them were prepared to be her partner. The players were then given 10 marbles each. The object of the game is for the player to take all of his partner's marbles. Without putting any pressure on him. If the other individual does not have any marbles, the game will be over. The even and odd game is played by Sang Wu and Sung's friend. They must guess how many marbles are in the front person's hand. Sang marbles Wu's are won by Sung's friend. Sang Wu is left with only one marble in the last round as a result. Sang Wu is aware that his life is coming to an end. He deceives Sung's friend and convinces him that, if someone loses against us, the match will be rescheduled. While cheating, Sang Wu switches Sung's friend's marbles. Sang Wu takes the marbles and hands them over to the guard. He then departs from there. The marbles were checked by Sung's friend, however, there were stones. Player number one was in much worse shape. That's why he was scurrying around. Sung prepares him for the game, and the two of them play the even and odd game together. The old man takes home all of Sung's marbles. However, in the last round, the old guy forgets what he chose. While trapping him, Sung steals his marbles. The old man, on the other hand, was astute, he retained a marble. He travels again, and Sung invites him to play another game with him. The old guy responds, I know you cheated me out of all my marbles. He claims I knew everything but was acting as if I didn't. Sinog felt pity for him and gave him all the marbles after hearing it. Si Bai Auk was also having fun with a female buddy. The game is to see who can hurl marbles as close to the wall as possible. Si Bai Auk tosses her marbles at first. When she turned Bai Auk's friends come around, she throws all of her marbles. Si Bai Auk notices it and begs her companion to throw it again. Her pal says no. I'm alone. See Bai Auk, there's no one behind me. But it won't be good if something horrible happens to you. See friend Bai Auk's was completed, and your elder brother was waiting for you. Their bodies were removed from the scene. They go back to their rooms. See friend, Bai Auk's Chang, is still alive. She sat in a relaxed manner. It is depicted here. Jiang's acquaintance was Si Pal. Bai Auk's they were at odds for a cause. Jiang is bullied by a friend. Later, the frontman discovers the officer's id card near a dead body. Then frontman learns that his VIP guests have arrived. The frontman makes a move to greet them. All VIPs were led to their rooms, and frontman afterward informed another man of the VIP's arrival. He was a major character, and we will learn more about him later. They were all hauled in for the fifth game the next day. Digits were ranging from 1 to 16. Players will be assigned numbers. That is, according to their number, it will be their turn. The last, first, and last numbers were left. It denotes the numbers 1 and 16. Sung is perplexed as to the number he should choose. He will be stranded if he chooses the first choice, because he is unfamiliar with the game. It's probable that if he picks the last number, he won't get his turn. In the meantime, Due to a lack of time, a man arrives. I want the first number, says Sung. Because I've never been on the first digit of a phone number before. They were escorted to a gaming area. The game's rule is that they must cross the bridge in the allotted time. Between their bridge, there were two glasses. One was regular glass, while the other was tempered. When they stomp on ordinary glass, it will shatter. They will crumble. They are then eliminated one by one as the game progresses. Jiang was in front of everyone and didn't seem to be moving. They only had one option, continue forward or die here. Jiang's friend, who she claims was bullying him, appears in front of her. When you betrayed me, I told you that I would finish you. She grabs Jiang and jumps as a result, and they're both done. There was once a man who worked for a glass manufacturer. He could tell which one was made of tempered glass. When the frontman is aware of the situation, he switches off the lights. As a result, they won't identify the glass. 
Sang Wu pushes the man because they don't have time for the final step. The bridge has been crossed by Sang Wu, Sung, and Si Bai Auk. However, they were hurt as a result of the shattered glass. Si Bai Auk was also harmed. The officer, on the other hand, has assumed the place of a servant after finishing him. The officer is suspected by a VIP. He requests that he take off his mask. Okay, says the officer, but before I step inside, I'll take off my mask. The cop then takes the VIP inside. Moving inside, the officer causes the VIP to pass out, and the frontman is well aware of this. When the frontman sees the cop, he pursues him. The officer manages to flee to an island. While chasing him, the frontman also comes. The officer attempts to contact his superiors. However, the call is dropped. The officer sends him all of the proofs. But their network was down. The cop is apprehended by the frontman, who begs him to accompany him. The cop, on the other hand, shoots a bullet at the frontman. When the frontman removes his mask, the cop recognizes this sibling. The frontman shoots the officer's brother. He loses his footing and falls into the water. Because of the glass, Si Bai Auk got hurt. She was in a lot of pain. The surviving were then taken to dinner. They were also surrounded by a knife. It signifies that one of them will kill someone at night. Sung notices Si condition Bai Auk's has deteriorated. He tells Si Bai Auk, don't worry, we'll defeat Sang Wu together, then we'll depart and divide the money. Si Bai Auk informs him that he has an older sibling whom he has abandoned in an orphanage. If one of us leaves the house, he or she is responsible for both families. Si condition Bai Auk's has deteriorated to the point that she requires medical attention. Sung rushes to seek assistance, but when he returns, Sang Wu has completed Si Bai Auk. They were taken for the final game the next day. Die to be dead was the game's simple rule. The squid was the name of the game. The game begins with a massive brawl between them, Sang condition Wu's deteriorates in the final scene. Sung declares, I want to put an end to this game. Sang Wu agrees to accompany Sung. Sang Wu terminates himself, and Sung wins the game as a result. The frontman tells Sung, you've done great, but I didn't expect this. Sung was then dropped off at his home. When he checks his ATM card, he notices that all of his funds have been transferred. Sung settles within his new home, but his mother passes away before he does. A year later, the scene is reenacted. Sung's condition was deteriorating, and he was abusing drugs. He hasn't put the money to good use yet. A woman selling flowers approaches Sung and hands him the same card. Sung moves to the address that was mentioned on it. There he realizes it all has been done by the old man, player number, one. He's still alive, and the elderly man informs Sung that he's tired of his life. I have built these games with my clients, so I shall pleasure while seeing the people dying. But we didn't coerce anyone for doing this. I took part in the game since playing is more entertaining than watching. He says the money you have is mine, saying this, the old guy dies. After it, Sang travels to their oldest brother of Si Bai Auk. He drops him at Sang Mother Wu's and asks her to take care of this youngster, he also offers her a sack full of money. Sung moves to the station and the same mysterious person whoever he met at the opening of the movie meets him. Sung pursues him, but he manages to run. Then Sung calls at the card number. He asks who are you and why you are doing this to people, why are you meddling with other people's lives? But the response was, Sung, get on the plane if you want to survive. The series ends here. Thank you for watching.